In this video, we're going to take a look at the automatic reporting service known as vCloud Usage Insight, available inside of the vCPP Commerce Portal. To get started, let's make sure we have the right user permissions. We need to make sure that our user account inside of the vCPP Commerce Portal has the auto report operations role. Administrators have access to change user roles. Operations has the access to submit monthly reports, but auto report operations is used to make sure that we can onboard into the service and add usage meters to our contracts. If you're not an administrator, you can ask your administrator or contract owners to add the role to your account. Next, we'll take a look at what happens when you are not onboarded into the service. We go to our contract and we go to the usage meter instances tab. We can see that we haven't onboarded yet. So let's go to our profile and onboard into the service. The profile shows you information about your user profile and your organization's profile as well. With the auto report operations role, we have the ability to opt in to the flex pricing model and automatic reporting on the profile page. Go ahead and click opt in and provide your password and then give consent so that you can use data sent from usage meter to be used in automatic reporting. Now let's return to the contract page and we can see that we can now add usage meters, register a new usage meter and add a friendly name. This is so that we can understand which of the usage meters this is just in case there's more than one. The next field is to add the usage meter instance ID. It's a unique identifier for every single usage meter. If you're using usage meter 3.6, this will be on line two of any usage meter file or report that you export. On usage meter four and higher, this is part of the initialization process when you're first configuring the usage meter. If you're also using sites on your contract, you'll also notice an extra field for sites. Next, we need to add the usage meter version. Make sure that version 3.6 or 4.1 is set correctly. Last but not least is the mode. We need to make sure that we set it in production mode if we want it to be used in automatic reporting going forward. Or we can set it into test mode if we want to receive data but not use it for aggregation or auto reporting just yet. Now we can save our usage meter registration. You'll have the option to edit or delete usage meter instances as they appear in your contracts. You can click on the three little dots to the left hand side to edit or delete. That's it. Check out our other videos to learn more about the VCPP Commerce Portal.